In this video, I'm going to show how to create a binary tree using HTML and CSS without any JavaScript. So I'm going to close this tab because we don't need it. The first thing to do when uh, creating a binary tree is deciding about the node, the structure of the node, how it's going to be. In HTML, we could use tables, but they would be messy and it would be like a really strict architecture that is not easy to manipulate, so let's avoid that. The natural way would be using lists, like for example, UL or OL. So this would be our node. Uh, it would be a, a list that has an item. And that item has, let's say, a div with data. Let's put here a four. And then what it does is that it has a pointer or you know to the next node to the next two nodes actually the left side that would be the numbers smaller and the right side that would be the numbers larger than in this case four the problem with this structure is that it's kind of bulky and it, it doesn't look okay like it's it's too big if we want to add more elements we would need to copy this structure let's put it here paste here you see this is how this is how it would look like and uh, visually it makes sense it's it's good it's accessible it's semantic but for the developer it's a pain in the neck <laughs> i'm going to go with a different approach that is not as semantic or accessible and i apologize for that in advance but that is simpler to develop the good thing is that going from the other method to this one is super easy and i'm going to show you how in this case i'm going to use divs and spans so with the div that would be our null let's say that way a null node uh, and our node in itself would have a span with the data let's put the four and then we would have pointers to left and right trees that as we said an empty div is the same thing as a null like that. So that would be our node. Now, let's put all this inside, let's call it an article, because it's a self-contained piece. So um, article class binary tree. So we're going to put our node there. And now we're going to add some more nodes. So we're going to put here, let's say a two, another here a one, let's see where I am here. We're going to put a three. So it doesn't look like a, a tree yet, but don't worry. And now what we're going to do is that I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it below in the other one. But the numbers on the right needs to be larger. So let's put here a six, a five, and a seven. So now you're like, hey, this doesn't look like a tree at all. And you're correct. Let's work on that. So let's start by adding some styles to the binary tree. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let's put a width uh, fit content for now. Uh, let, let's see how it works. So what we want is that our nodes, they're going to have a display of grid and they're going to have two columns, one for each child, and we want them to have the same width. So we do grid template columns, one FR, one FR. And then you see it started moving a little bit. We want to have also two rows per, per cell. It's going to be the data on top and then the trees below. So let's do grid template rows, uh, one FR. And then the second one, maybe larger or smaller so let's just put an auto Let, let's put it that way now now that we have that uh, let's make a small change here let's say the span and let's put this clear so it's inside the binary tree that is important we don't want to affect all the divs and spans in the in the thing let's close this all these messages what we're going to say is the span is going to have um, 
let's say we want it in the middle but we want it to occupy both columns so we say grid column starting the first and finishing the last now it's starting to look a little bit more like uh, a tree already let's add some spacing so we can go back to the node and say gap 0 0.5 rem it's, yeah that looks a little bit better and now let's make the nodes look like nodes so let's say the the span is going to be this no i don't think i need a display block because it's already inside a grid so let's add a border first one px solid and let's add a width of let's say two rem and a height of two rem that looks fine then a border radius of 50 so they're rounded that's starting to look really good and now we're going to center the content by doing this play grid place items center this is starting to look like a tree a little bit still they don't match exactly but let's see what we can do is add a margin of auto auto that's good and maybe separate a little bit the notes they are too close together so let's add a margin top of one rem that looks okay now it's starting to look like a tree but there's no connections let's work on that so to do the connections we're going to copy this and we're going to say uh, the before and we're going to have something interesting so the d we're going to add a position relative and then in this before of the span we're going to add a position absolute because the span doesn't have a position the position absolute of the before is going to be respected of the div not the span and that's important that we we want that to be important so what we're going to do is uh, first we need to add content for it to be visual and now we're going to add a background let's add like a semi-transparent red so we can see it let's say it's going to have a width of 50 percent and it's going to have a height of so this is two rem but you see here is what we need to do the height of the before needs to be the margin top plus the gap that's 1.5 rem so we come here 1.5 rem perfect now what we need to say is position absolute it's going to be left 50% at top zero. And then we're going to do a transform translate y of minus 100%. And you can see how the, how the uh, left trees are connecting correctly. The right trees, not so much, but we're going to work in that in a sec. So what we're going to do is that the background, we're going to change it and we're going to say background. We want to have a linear gradient that it's going to be uh, to the bottom right to bottom right and it's going to be transparent until let's say 49 percent then black from there to 51 percent and then transparent again and uh, linear gradient to bottom right i think i did something wrong i don't know what i did wrong <laughs> i need to check uh, oh no it's there it just took a little bit to to draw that's good so as as i was saying the left side looks okay the right side not so much so we know that because of the structure of our node the first element is going to be the data the second element is going to be the left tree and the third element is going to be the right tree so we can do something like this binary tree the nth child third so when it's the third child that's the right uh, element the span that is right underneath it the before instead of having a background that goes to the bottom right we want it to go to the bottom left and it's still off but don't worry we say the left we want it to be automatic and we want the right to be 50 percent and our tree is starting to look oh it's starting no it looks like a tree already uh, let's remove this one I, I don't like it so let's do one thing the binary tree the first element the before is going to have content none so we don't display this arrow here 
And just like that, you did your binary tree in HTML and CSS. But now let's take it even beyond that. One typical interview question is, uh, you know, if they tell you to do a binary tree, it would be, hey, now, uh, so the in order, pre order, or post order of the tree. So let's do that. So let's do one thing. Well, let's add classes. Let's put here a comment orders. So the binary tree, when it's in order, when it's in order, that means that we display first the left child, then the root, that is the value, and then the right side, that is the, the values that are larger. When it's pre-order, we saw first the root, then the left child, then the right child. And when it's post-order, we display first the left child, then the right child, and finally the node, the, the node value. So we can do that in a funny way. Let's, let, let's try. So let's add styles for in order, pre-order, and post-order. And what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to copy this actually, it's going to be useful for later. We're going to say the divs inside, instead of being a display grid, we want them to be display flex. Uh, I believe, oh, and I need to put here a class. Let's put first, um, let's put first the pre-order that is the more natural of all the ways actually. So you see, it's kind of looks messy, don't worry. So we're going to paste it here and say the spam before. We don't want it to have anything. So we want it to be um, content none. So we don't display those lines, they look ugly. Uh, and here we need to do a margin of zero and a gap of zero too. Okay, now the number starts looking okay, actually. The funny thing is that our tree is by default, the HTML structure is by default in uh, pre-order, which is really convenient. But let's see how we would do it, the in-order and the post-order. So this is, this is going to be super fun, actually. So the binary tree, when it's in pre-order, what we do is that the nth child okay uh, and bear with me here uh, bear with me here it's, it's going to be a little bit tricky what we do is that the first child that is the value is displayed first so the order of that element is one now the sec oh the second element that is the left tree is displayed second and the third element, that is the right tree, is displayed third, just like it's being displayed right now. Now, for pre-order, sorry, for in-order, and let me come here and put in-order, we first display the left side, then the value, and then the right side. So what we do is that we first display the left side, then the value, and finally the right side. And to finish, we do the post order. In this case, we first display the left side, then the right side, and then the value. So the left side is first, the right side is second, and the value is third. So just like this, look at the funny thing. The tree is in pre-order. Now we're going to change it to in order, and uh, it automatically changes and look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that is correct. And finally, we do post order. And there we have it, one, three, two, five, seven, six, four. And that is correct, which is the funniest thing ever. Let's go back to the tree form. Another interview question that we get often is, can you invert the tree? Can you make it like the right side go to the uh, left and the left side go to the right, blah, blah, blah. So that's super easy in CSS with this version of the binary tree. The only thing that you need to do is binary tree. When you want to invert it, you do transform scale x minus one. So now we have our tree. And when we say, hey, 
invert it. Tachan! Now the right side is on the left and the left side is on the right. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> See you next time.